Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a database for our Django project. Also, we're going to create a super user, um, and then we're going to go ahead and run the server. So the main oversight of what we're trying to do today is test the installation of our Python and Django uh, files that we have installed uh, previously. All right. <clears throat> um, basically, we want to make sure our project works up to this point. If it does not work, if you guys are having problems, please leave a comment below and I'll be able to help you get going. Because if you can't get past this point, there's no way you're getting your, your site up and running on Heroku. All right. <clears throat> so this is the whole uh, side step here. Let's test and run everything because I want to make sure everybody's on the same page before we start going into configuring our project for future projects. All right, <clears throat> let's get started. We're gonna first create the database. Uh, we need to first ensure that we're in the proper directory. So we put ls, hit return, and notice there's a file in here called manage.py. <clears throat> now this manage.py file is like the brains of our development um, uh, area or whatever. Um, <clears throat> basically, we run all our commands through here. We do python manage.py and then the command, all right? So basically, this file takes the command and runs whatever we need it to run, all right? <clears throat> so when we're working with our project, most of the time we're going to be in this location, all right? So we can run those commands. So the first command we're going to take a look at, if you guys are in here, if you, if you don't see manage.py, then you need to use the uh, change directory command CD and move into whatever, wherever you are. Cause I can't tell where each one of you are. So I can't really give you specific instructions, but use a CD command and then the name of the directory to switch back and forth. All right. And if you need to go backwards, it's CD that dot dot uh, forward slash. All right. All right. With that all being said, let's go ahead and create our database. First uh, command we're going to run is python manage.py make migrations. It looks like this. What this file is going to do, which it really doesn't do anything in this instance, um, or it shouldn't be doing anything in this instance, is it's creating files um, of our data, of our uh, coded database, which is referred to as model models in Django. It's taken our models <clears throat> and it's going to put it in specific uh, context that eventually Django will convert into the database. All right. So uh, make migrations takes what we code it, puts it into a specific file. Then when we run the next command, it's going to take that command, uh, take that file that it just created and convert it into the database. So the database works. All right. Now, I don't want you guys focusing too much on exactly what make migrations does, but over time, make sure you understand what make migrations is doing and what migrate is doing. Because if you run into issues, you'll be able to troubleshoot it if you understand the full concept of it. And I'll try to do my best to explain to you what's going on behind the scenes when we run these commands. All right. So that way it makes troubleshooting a little bit easier. All right. So we're going to run python manage.py make migrations. This will not do anything. All right. Um, but it's a good habit to always run make migrations and then run the next command. If you run them in that order every time, it doesn't matter if it doesn't do anything, you're not going to miss a step, right? Hit return and it says new ch no changes detected, right? It didn't do anything. Now you'll see it do things shortly when we start writing some code because once we write code to the models.py uh, file, it will uh, go ahead and uh, convert that to a file that the database will be able to understand when we run this command, python manage.py migrate. All right, so now the file that was created called a migrations file is now gonna be converted into um, a language the database understands, all right? And it's gonna be inserted into the database. So the python manage.py migrate creates the database, all right? So <clears throat> right now when we, or when we ran a start project, Django built out this whole template for us, for our site, and it gave us um, uh, uh, a, a nice starting point, but it didn't create a database for us. And we have 
a lot of options to run the database. We can use SQLite, we can use Postgres, we can use MySQL, we can use a lot of things. But for now, we're going to use SQLite because we're just starting out and getting everything situated. But um, when we run this command, if we didn't give it a specific um, instruction on what type of database to create, it's going to go with SQLite. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit return, and you'll see it do a whole bunch of things. It created uh, a table for content types. It created a table for authentication. It created a table for admin, another table for admin, another table for admin, uh, content types, authentication stuff, and sessions. All these packages in here, like admin, authentication, they all come prepackaged with Django. Most likely, most sites are going to use some 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 of these uh, packages that come with Django, right? So what Django does is it sets it up for us. So when we create our database, it goes go ahead and creates us these much needed tables. All right. So we'll take a look at all these like authentication, admin, content types, all that sessions. <clears throat> so there we go. We actually created a database. Now, if you went into your uh, uh, file, I can't think of the name of it right now. Explorer or whatever the heck you want to call it. Go to tutorial. Uh, I don't know where I put this file. Django. There you go. CMS. And into CMS. Right here you see db.sqlite3. That is our database right there. All right. <clears throat> and that was just created for us. Remember we saw manage.py and now we got db.sqlite3 in there. So if I go in my terminal, clear my screen, hit ls, you notice we got db.sqlite3 in there as well. All right. That wasn't there earlier when we checked for manage.py. All right. Cool. So we created a database. <clears throat> Next step, we're going to go ahead and create a super user. A super user is the overall user he's the god if you will or the king of the web uh, website or web app whatever you want to call it he has the overall power now we're going to create this uh super user <clears throat> so we can access the admin part portion of the site Django comes with a pre-built admin site all right so we're going to go ahead and create a super user to do that to create a super user make sure you're in the directory contains manage.py and we're going to run python manage.py create super user just like that simple all right now we got to provide a username use whatever you want i'm going to use admin and then your uh, email address so support at mastercode.online and your password whatever you want it to be all right Hit return and it says super user created successfully. So now we got a super user <coughs> in the database, all right, that we can use to log into the admin site. So we can actually go and check it out. To do that, we first need to run the <coughs> Django server. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, <coughs> to run the server, we need to make sure we're in the directory that contains manage.py and we do Python manage.py run server all right <clears throat> before you go uh, running off to check this URL right here where our site's going to be displayed we want to make sure there's no errors in here right you see how it says it's performance system checks um, when there's an error that arises the first indication of that error is going to be in here all right now if you don't see an error sweet good we're good to move on now if you do find an error and it's not something that's completely obvious to you that there's a problem, leave a comment below and I'll help you guys get started. All right. Uh, so with that being said, if you see no errors, let's go ahead over to our browser. You go in here, hit, uh, paste in um, HTTP 127.0.0.1 colon 8000, hit return. And we got this little rocket ship here and it's uh, blasting off. And that is the uh, successful installation of Jago's page all right so we got we got the front page or the home page up and running sweet all right so that's that's a good indication that we see this next thing we want to do is go forward slash and then we're gonna go to admin all right all right so we're gonna be presented with this form it says Django administration page we're gonna go ahead and log into this I just want to make sure my passwords right 
All right, so we'll go ahead and log in. And right here is the Django uh, admin site. Uh, you see you got groups and users. This is from the authentication package. When we ran the database, it imported all this stuff for us. And now we have access to the users and the groups. If we click on users, notice we got admin and we got my email address. I don't, I didn't enter my first or last name and it says I'm staff status. So this is a pretty good, um, a pretty cool little thing Django does for you. Um, one thing we will learn or you guys will learn as we walk through this is I do not use this. Um, I do use it for testing purposes, but other than that, I am not in here. I build my own custom backends for my clients <clears throat> and myself, you know, it, it gives you a lot more flexibility. So that's where we're going to head towards when we build this project. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, let's get ahead and move on to the next tutorial. Have a nice day.